Hello everyone, this is Craig Chamberlain and welcome to the PCM Tech Help Show. And as you notice, I've changed my set around a little bit. Um, please ignore the terrible set lighting. I need to order some lighting. Uh, but in the meantime, uh, we're going to try to get some videos done here. Now, I usually don't do unboxing videos. Uh, one of the reasons I stopped doing them is because usually I didn't have equipment to do them. Now, um, I've had quite a few requests for unboxing videos, so I'm actually going to start doing them as I get hardware in, but don't worry, it's going to be blended in with a lot of other stuff that I'm going to be doing at the same time. So let's go ahead and get started on this one. Today's unboxing video, we have the Antec, believe it, Antec, believe it, the 380 watt uh, AT active uh, earth watts uh, power supply. Now this power supply was about $55 from from uh, Newegg.com. It has four and a half out of five eggs. Uh, and here's some of the features on it. I don't know if you can see them there. It's a 380 watt of continuous power, uh, 80 plus bronze certification, 80 millimeter cooling fan, dual 12 volt output circuits, uh, 12x safety protection circuitry. Uh, universe, this is all pretty much standard stuff. Uh, has one PCI Express connection. That's very important for those of you who were thinking about hooking up graphics cards. 380 watts isn't enough to hook up more than one graphics card anyway. Um, it has serial ATA connections for serial ATA drives, and it also has a estimated lifespan of 100,000 hours. I don't know if you can see that. If you look at the side of the box here, you can see some of the input and output uh, categorizations. If you need to pause the screen and take a closer look at that, you can. That way you can actually, sorry, I'm looking over here to make sure that you guys can see this properly. And then on the front, uh, it, it's really big on um, making sure you get some power saving features. It's all green, green energy, everybody's going green. Look at this though. It's probably one of my biggest complaints with this particular unit. It does not come with a power cable, which means that you'll have to order one separate or reuse one that you already have. I don't know if that's their approach to recycling or if they're just being cheap. Uh, Earthwatts, Antex, most environmentally friendly power supply, up to 87% efficiently serves you, uh, saves you money on your electric bill, which is a good thing, of course. Um, let's see what else we have here. Pretty much anything else is pretty much run of the mill with any kind of power supply. So let's go ahead and open it up. Let's see what we got. That way we can take a look at the connectors, because I know a lot of you guys like to see the connectors when we do these unboxings. Pretty green box, I guess that's part of their green energy movement issue. Okay, pretty standard stuff here, comes pre-packaged like any other one you would see. And then we have right here... Black screws, which is kind of nice. Matches the actual physical body of the power supply. Has this uh, cardboard thing around it. That way it holds these nice little packaging edges. Is there an official name for these? Please tell me if it is, because if I'm going to be doing unboxings, I'd like to know what it, <laughs> what it is. And we have our manual, our manuel. It is in both English and French. Dutch, Italiano, Espanol, some squiggly language that I can't read, and Japanese. Uh, and it looks like it's got a nice summary of all the power connectors that are included on it. Now for those of you who can't see this, let me just read it off real quick. That way, if you're watching this video to find out what's on it, you have one 24-pin main connector. That's the one that goes into your motherboard. You have four 4-pin ATX 12-volt uh, that's your standard 12 volt connectors that go into your motherboard as well. Uh, you have one six pin PCI Express port. Um, and granted, this is on the 380D and 430D. This is the 380D unit. So this one is on this one. Um, it comes with one six pin PCI Express connector and eight pin six times two PCI Express. Uh, that's actually on the 500D, that's not on this one. Uh, four Molex connectors, I'll show you those in a second. Five SATA connectors and uh, one floppy connector for those of you who still use floppy drives. Uh, let's see what we have here. Looks like they got this thing tied up uh, in the pre-package. It's got one of these little fancy wire ties here that you just have to, you're gonna have to pull it down and that'll allow you to, uh, I'm pretty sure you can keep this thing without cutting it. There's a fancy way to do it. 
I might just cut it to get through it though because I don't want to leave you guys waiting for a half hour while I get this. I'll just cut it. But you can, if you spend time with it, you can, uh, you can save that for yourself as a water tie. Okay, now we have, these are your Molex connectors. I don't know if you've seen these before. These are pretty much the standard de facto Molex connector for all of your motherboards. Um, there's one Molex on the end of this. This is a serial ATA. This is a serial ATA. These are these have become the standard, aside from the Molex. We have a couple more serial ATAs here, approximately three more here, so that's a grand total of five, as we said. A couple more Molex connectors. That would be three more Molex connectors in your floppy connector, all on one strand. And then here are your primary PCI Express. You have one PCI Express and two of your four-pin motherboard, four-pin connectors. And that'll pretty much do it. Anything else in here? Ah. Gotta keep the moisture out. So that's all there is to this video. This is the, uh, well, here, let me actually show you the, <laughs> let me actually show you the unit. It's probably going a little long, but you gotta bear with me on these. I'm not very uh, up to par on these unboxing videos. I haven't done a whole lot of them. Alright, here we go. They say work smart, not hard, but I'm not very good at that. Here it is. It's actually kind of a cool green color. Like a dark green. I kind of like it. It's pretty stylish. And uh, here's all your specifications right here on the side. On the back you got your standard on-off cut the power or not switch and you got your standard power. Now remember it doesn't come with a cable which is quite annoying, but Beggars can't be choosers, right? Wait a minute, you are a chooser. You're, you are a customer. So if you're gonna spend money on something, you might wanna try one of these. I've, I've used one of these before, I did like it. So Antec does a good job. And I buy most of my stuff on review. So that's all there is to this video. As always, thanks for stopping by. Have you ever bought an Antec power supply or would you never spend that kind of money on a power supply? Are you smart? Do you make sure that you buy a decent power supply for your computers? You really should. It's worth the extra money because you want to make sure you're protecting your motherboard and all your other equipment. And not to mention, power supply issues are a pain to troubleshoot. So thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to swing by the website at PCMTechHelp.com. There's plenty more videos uh, where this came from. And uh, stay tuned. There's uh, I just said that. <laughs> Have a good day.